Hammond. This is a, another episode of Wednesdays with Warren, the Hall of Fame of Warren Sanders. How y'all doing? <laughs> well, the babies are back. They here? Oh, yeah. I saw them in there. I did with fly fishing and had a nice little good, good time together. I can't wait to get them with the jokes. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, uh, you know, I sit on the running back linebacker room. And there's so many new linebackers. I done, I've been bumped way down. Like, that road long now. <laughs> that road long now. Listen, the thing that we were talking about with building this thing, how, what we wanted and how we wanted it. And right now we're in flux and it was exactly what we wanted. Yeah. And I think it's going to be something special. Oh, man, all the new guys got up, introduced themselves, and it was just steady coming. You, you look at the size on them. You know what I love about them, Sal? They weren't shy. They weren't shy. That's what, you know what? And that's the thing I love about Prime One thing. Don't let his confidence protect your insecurities. Yeah. I love a confident young man. Oh, yeah, it was confident. If you don't believe in yourself and what you're about to do or what you're about to work in, then you really waste your time. One, one guy got up, said his name. He said, I'm here to take somebody's job. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like I said, you're taking less money. It's the same thing. That's the same thing. But you say lunch money is a nicer way of saying it than taking somebody's job. You know, some folks taking their job real serious, you know, because I, I got kids to feed back at home. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a, yeah. don't, don't, don't Everybody in his position group should have set up. They said, you ain't get mine. Maybe they ain't got that kind of call. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to find out real fast. Yeah. The eye in the sky don't lie, so we're going to figure out who the better man is. That's just, that's just the game we play. It humbles you to a point where you look in the mirror and be like, is this really for me? You know, that, that's a question you have to ask. Yeah, yeah. That, that is, you got like the taste of your own blood. In your own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball men don't like that. No. You see them? Come on, man. They, 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 they real delicate. What, what's for us first order of business for you when you get back and get some just talk with them. Just, just communicate what you do. You know, it ain't, it ain't all got to be about football. You know? That's the that's a beautiful thing that we always do. It's not always about football because, like I told you before, I'm a dad first. Yep. So I want to make sure you enjoy your experience in college, what, what's coming up for you, you know what I'm saying? What classes you got this fall, how far you away from getting your degree. Yep. You know, just a general conversation. Yep. We don't have plenty of time for football. Yep. We don't have plenty of time for that. When, when it's time to roll, it's time to roll. But, I want to get to know the young man because, like I tell you all the time, with dad first. Yeah. And one of those, one of those components about getting to know folks, you know, you can have a standard, right, as a yep. team or a coach or a but you have to coach people different. Come on, everybody learns different. Yeah. And if that's one thing we all know from being on the football team, he doubles a box of rock, he, he uh, out in space, yeah. he like he like cartoons, you know, different yeah. things, animate different things, and different things motivate different guys, so you have to be able to touch them, and that's why I want to talk to them. What you doing, officer? What, what, you know, what's yeah. your girlfriend, you know, this and that, yeah. different things in their lives, because I can't. One of the things you touched on about being a dad is uh, Coach Bryant had all the guys, staff included, who fathers stand up. Ooh. and said there's a different level of discipline and expectation and things we want to bring to you, and make sure you get an understanding, because you've got another level of responsibility. There's something greater than you. And that's what you always, that's what you realize when you're there. It's something that I'll lay my life down for a heart. You know, when, the, when that's the case, yeah. that's greater than you. That's, that's the ultimate team. No greater hey, sacrifice. Hey, that, you come out home, home is different than the brotherhood of me. Because mm -hmm. if a family's walking down the street and the baby's lagging, everybody stop them. We're going to make sure the baby's safe. Yeah. A brotherhood of me, we're going to keep going. Yeah. You, you off to the wayside, buddy. We'll give you two, uh, two comments that folks made today. Uh -huh. Athletic director Richard, Rick George spoke, and he talked about how folks have us finishing 14th in the Big 12, and the disrespect of the, to the people in this room that some of them think that you're going to be last place. Andre Hart, linebacker coach, got in this spoke, and he talked about how the first season at Jackson State went about like last season, but then the next season when he took off, and this is our take off season. When you look at what people are saying about us and what we know we have, that's the last thing you gotta worry about me worry about. Somebody was like, they talk about Jesus Christ, the only perfect man to walk on earth, and he's your salvation. So I'm free game. <laughs> I'm far from perfect. So, yeah. hey man, so 
I'm willing to cut say Bobby. No, because I know the work that me and these young men are going to play. I know what Dion is leading, and I'm following. I know what's happening. See, that's the best thing about the outside world. A lie has been around the earth three times before the truth get off the porch. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. But it's going to be here on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And, and they come out of the wash and you look up at the scoreboard and then they go to putting the records down. So, we'll see. You know, you talked about getting to know your guys to get to know you. Uh, as we sit here right to a campus, we're about 90 days away from the first game. Ooh. So, if you look at 30, 30, 30, what's, what's the process of how we build to get ready for that Thursday night? Last Thursday night. That much a day. That's all I'm asking for every one of my young men. That much every day. For 90 days. And then when it's 90 days, it's stacked up. Yeah. It's a nice, simple stand up. That's a nice, solid foundation for you to build seasonal. That's what it's about. It's about individual improvement on a day in, day out basis. Because my mom said to me, Boy, you either get better or you get worse. You never stay the same. Mm. So you make a choice. Make a choice, young man. Or worse. That, you can never stay the same. Yeah. And now that's that tea you get work because you're getting older. So now you put a little knowledge on it and then that might tick you off. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's what I try to tell you, man, when you're in this age right now, you're in the perfect age to get all the knowledge. Oh, no one has to battle. Get the knowledge, get the data, chop it up, apply it to what relates to you, and then take off. Because yeah. now you have all the fuel, the knowledge, and, and a little bit of experience because when you learn something, it gives you a little bit of experience almost like I've gone through this before. Mm -hmm. Life won't do it for you, but football will. Yeah. <laughs> Pay and, attention. And along that way, you learn position by position, unit by unit, who you can trust. Because you've seen them in situations. Come on. You've seen them have to, have to do things under duress when it's hot out there. Will you communicate yeah. when it's hot? You're tired. Yeah. We're ahead, yeah. behind. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Write that play, come back to the phone. You saw that boy from the text. Tell him, say, hey man, what's our chance of making this team? And you ain't communicating with me. That's yeah. Yeah. A, a quiet defense is a dumb defense. Cause everybody it. afraid. Everybody's afraid it. to say anything because they're afraid to be wrong. But even more, they're afraid not to know. Huh? How about yeah. that? Yeah. No, that's outstanding. That's a great clip to have like that communication. Because people think when you think there, you know. No! Oh, now I got nothing no! To learn. And, like, talk to me. And when you're on a 100 man squad, yeah. you want to make sure that me and you are on the same page. Yeah. Because when you're in that back end, them big plays over the top, everybody sees that. <laughs> See, like, we can hide inside. And that's why I don't want my D line. That's why I make them, hey, if it has something to do with us, let's pass it down the line. All yeah. four of us got to know it. Therefore, let's pass it down the line. In a situation you're trying to make the roster, one guy around you messing up that bag can take you down with him. That's it. It's only forty. It's only forty-six of them, and one of them is an emergency quarterback. They don't take many. It's Sunday. <laughs> back in college, I was watching at Jackson State. You got a dance team called the J Sins. Uh huh. I was watching them try out. They were auditioning, and they would audition in groups of four or five. Then one girl did so bad, the other folk didn't make it work because she threw everybody on. Bumping into them, you know, just out of place. Evidently, they didn't work together as a group. And I think if they put you at fives, you got to use a group thing that comes yeah. with this. Because, yeah. you know, when you're spinning and moving them all, <laughs> they can just look in, look in the peripheral and see it all together. You yeah. can see if it's synchronized. Hey, man, you know how that is. A team every, together, everyone achieves more. Achieve. I love that. It's the simplest. Use, it's the simplest. That synchronicity because that D-line and the edge rushes. What? Line. But we gotta have contain. We gotta have the two a gaps up front. We gotta make sure the quarterback can't get out the pocket. Mm -hmm. Come on, we gotta funnel it back to our linebackers in the proper being the proper gaps and fill it the proper way. Either we spill it or we turn it back. And you gotta know that now. And how important is for each one of those levels to know what the other level is? You know what? I don't think we got to that point. Okay. I want to make sure it's S A H the answer line of assignment yours. Yeah. Now, if you get to where you can be subliminal and understand the whole defense, that's what you eventually want to get to. But you want to know your job because that's your job. That's your responsibility. And I'm going to come to you about you not being there. Well, talk to me about the linebackers. Yeah. They behind us. It all starts yeah. up front. We can eliminate a lot of things they can do to us. Yeah. 
That's what I'm come off the field with what had happened. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what had happened was. No, 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 no. The coach. No, 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 no. He didn't. Who? The guy behind me. No, no, right here. Right here. We start here. Yeah. We up front. We yeah. start up front. What did we do? Yeah. How did we affect the play? How did we. Did we, did we end in a defeated position? Did we end in our proper side? Did we spill it the right way? Did we turn it back? Did we do the things we were supposed to do? Come on, man. It starts with self. Once you start with self and you see a little, you see everything. But when you're seeing everything, you see nothing. You see nothing. Because you're looking everywhere else. It's right here. That's the problem we talk about. What's, what's holding you back? You. Look right here. Look, look, man. Look, y'all looking at me. Look at that view, man. Yeah, look, at, just, look at the mountain. You just get motivation and inspiration every time you go near that one there. Then you come off this high, go down that valley bowl, look at that. When you're working out, you can look up and see oh. all that. Oh. It's really, it's really, really God's coming from high. Oh, it is. It is. Wow. I, t- I tell people back home, man, I didn't know this before living here for a year. I will take 35 degrees and bowl them. 95 degrees in Mississippi because that humidity in Mississippi it just it is way above. Here, I take, I take any degrees at any <laughs> world, so it's hot, Mississippi. It's hot, man. You cut it. Florida ain't cold. I promise you. <laughs> oh no, y'all got that humidity too. Yeah, and then that, then the, then the, then the, 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 the sweltering coming off the, the, the oceans and the yeah. Gulf and the water. You know that when the sun reflects off the water, it's even worse. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's magnified now. <laughs> but you uh, you got out of that just in time for it to see up there. It started. Whoa. It started, but it's they, they said we're feeling like 108, 105 down there the other day. And I said, whoa. And they asked me, is it getting hot? It never said a hundred felt like a hundred when I was a kid playing football. Never. Didn't we have 90 some, 95, 97. Never a hundred and five, hundred and four. Feel like? Yeah. How does it feel like it if it's not really that? That's like being in a fire, and the fire feels hotter than the actual flame. That, 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 that's not cool. Yeah. That's not cool. Speaking of feel like, you just teed this up. Uh-oh. This time last year, you were here, and we had to watch and uh, <laughs> interact, but now you're coaching directly. What does it feel like a year later to, to really be immersed in I felt like an outsider in okay. Even though the kids, yeah, you know, yeah. say hello and everything, prime, everything was beautiful. I couldn't touch him like I needed to. I couldn't touch him. I couldn't influence it. I couldn't do a thing. That was the biggest thing. I'm like, man, I got to go do this because this, they affected me. They really did. They affected oh, me. They, oh, they no, it was the kids. It was the kids. The kids. Coach, coach, coach. I'm like, man, I ain't coach. Yeah, you will. Man, and, and they were charming at the knowledge. And then I saw what, there was a, there was a disconnect. And I said, no, nah, I can help this. I can definitely help this. And then with D-Lo coming in, oh, I, we got a whole me, D Lord dance. I, I love our triangle yeah. because you can get some from each one of us that's that's definitely different than the next. Different approach. Oh, different approach, different teaching, different everything. But the way y'all. But the language is the same. Yeah. With, yeah. with how we want them to go, saying. about securing yeah. the, the gap, the ripper. No, that, that's that's one tone. That's one voice, one sound, one heartbeat. It's really like y'all, the three of y'all have been working together for but we all do it. We go about the same thing. We go about it the same way. We go about the same way. There's only one way to talk about it. There's a standard that's set. And we're going to hold it to the standard. I think that's something we were missing last year. From the position coaches to the DC and back down, is there was a different interpretation of how things should Everything, be. everybody had a different yeah. opinion. Now we yeah. are. So now you're trying to put the puzzle together. That's what Rob does. Yeah. That's what Rob really does. Rob yeah. really gives us input in what he's calling and how he feels about it. What do, you, what do you think about this situation, Tom? Mm-hmm. Huh? Don't ask me, coach. It's for rush four, drop seven. <laughs> I tell him it's easy for me, baby. Rush four, drop seven. Every day of the week and yeah. twice on Saturday. Yeah. That's the only way we do it. But he has different philosophies, and I understand it. And I, I agree. I'm like, oh, I see that. Why you do that? You know, because you know, I do it that way because that's that's what wanted for me. You know, I've never been a decoder. I don't want to be a decoder. I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But what I'm gonna bring is that. Tenacity, that hunger, that fire, that desire that you gotta have up front to lead them. That's what it's about. We gotta lead up front. If we lead up front, everybody else will follow. Yeah, that's where it starts. The biggest, baddest man on the team on the deal. That's what I. That, that's my philosophy. I totally agree. I told guys last year one of the things we were missing. I thought was and lead dog. Sports show. I said and lead dog up front. We need a guy. 
and I'm scared. You need to do it when you look and say, I want to know what he's going to do to him today. <laughs> you know he got a school little buddy well put together. Yeah. He's well put together. But when you put him on that football field, it's about one thing. It's about a complete domination of my opponent. And I'm starting to fire. And my teammates going to pull kerosene and gas on him. We got in front of him. That's what you want to do as a defender. Up front, in the first five to ten plays of a football game, the quarterback must go down. He must go down hard. In the first five to ten plays of a football game, the opposing quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. That's the stand. That's the tone you set. Yeah. You set the tone. It's gonna be a long day. You are not gonna be in there drinking tea in that pocket today, young man. We are coming. You are the target, and the target is set. The table is set. Let's see. One of the things you said last episode. <laughs> Folks in the comment below the show, we appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah, definitely appreciate that, y'all coming through. Awesome the way they comment. They said they would love it when you said the quarterback is your pillow. Always. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't play now. They, they won't let you land on yeah. me. I mean, it's crazy yeah. to me, man. I, I, I've done all this work to get past this line and turn this yeah. corner, beat the, yeah. beat the time another play, yeah. hit the quarterback, and now I got to worry about where I'm landing. Because yeah. <laughs> I got to land. It's gravity. I mean, I, 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 I got to land. We're going to hit this ground. <laughs> but now I got to get off now of Now I got to figure out how to get off of it. No. Right. That's my pillow. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. What's up? You know, uh, we got many more of these. We come in every Wednesday. Yes. Every Wednesday. Folks in love with me. Beyond 100,000 views in a few, few short weeks. We just get started, y'all. We're going to have some game tape for you, some oh, inside, a little, little, maybe a little sap in the lab. I might draw it oh, up for you. you. I might draw it up for you and lead you. And then you be at home watching my D-line, and I watch the quarterback drop back. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your eyes where they're supposed to go, down in the trenches where the big boys were at. Wizzy reward. Ah! <laughs>